Hi guys, it's Christine. I just finished making two more cards. The first one actually I finished a couple of days ago. It's a combination easel slider crisscross card and this is the one that I had finished a few days ago. It's a baby card. It's similar to my other pink baby girl card that I made and this one is the baby boy. So I've got this envelope that I made and I ship these cards because I sell them on eBay so when I when I make my envelopes I don't glue them down so that I can ship them flat and then that way I can save on, on the postage for whoever buys the card and I've pre-taped and pre-scored so all you have to do is just hold the envelope, remove the tape that's there and you can seal the card in the envelope. So here's my first my first card. I've got a little tag in here that reads Sweet Baby and I'm at it on the back so there's room for a message there and there's also room for a little message here and I've got this cute little blue polka dot paper on the back a little puffy hearts and some little stick-on iridescent pearls and there's another little tag here it's a little giraffe and it says so cute and there's room for a little photo on the back or for writing a little note if you want and I've got a little flower that I made out of lace and a button I've got two ribbon carnations and some eyelet that I attached to the front and this paper was from the die cuts with a view stack called baby boy now on the easel part I've got some more of these little stick on pearls and it says adorable and it's a foil type uh, paper it's really pretty and I've got three more little roses and I die cut the edge at the bottom and this was the Martha Stewart doily lace die cut the card opens to reveal two photo maps this is a slider portion of the card so there's room to put two photos on there and then you can also write notes on the back if you wanted to. So that's it for my baby boy card. And they just fold down flat like that. And then you can stick them in the envelope and just seal it up. My next card is a, either a 50th anniversary card because I made it with gold paper or it also works well for a wedding and here's the tag on this card it's a beautiful vintage image and I've got some ribbon at the top here and a little brad and I've punched my my corners and in this card I stitched some lace I don't know if you can see that it's lace fabric and I stitched it inside and I've got some trim with little crystals hanging there and again two little ribbon carnations and a pretty little organza style flower here little things sticking around it and I've got these little strands sticking up here down at the bottom again I stitched some lace gold lace and I've got three more little cabbage carnations here. There's a little tag that slides out here and it says happily ever after is not just for fairy tales with a little crystal heart. So this card is perfect for a 50th wedding anniversary or a wedding or a very special anniversary. And again here's the slider portion of the card. I've got some little pearls on the, on the pull tabs and you just pull and the recipient can put photos on there or if it's a 50th anniversary you can go ahead and put two photos of the couple on there before you present the card to them and again I've got an envelope and it matches and I just keep these folded down flat for the shipping so I hope you like my cards feel free to send me your comments and I did post a video on how to make these cards 
on my YouTube channel and I've got the instructions with the, uh, the measurements on my website at www.scrapandrabbit.com. Have a nice day.